Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Pretty Pink Posh and today I have a shaker tag to share with you featuring the brand new Stitched Duo 2 die which is the inside circle cutout portion you see here and I have used it today instead of with the stitched rectangle that it comes, comes with instead with the stitched tag from the Stitched Duo 1 die collection. I love that you can mix and match these dies to work with one another. So for my tag here, I'm going to cut the tag shape and the windows from some uh, khaki Simon Says Stamp cardstock, and I've just taped those in place with a little post-it tape because I really need it to be as centered as possible. And I'm going to pop out all those little center pieces, and I can save those for another project if I want to. Now for a shaker card or tag or whatever you're going to make, you need several elements. And so I'm also going to need the inside piece, which is where I'm going to do all of my stamping and coloring. So I'm going to die cut the tag again, and just the tag portion for this one, from some white smooth cardstock. And then I'm going to cut my backing piece for my shaker tag so it has a really nice finished back from another piece of the khaki cardstock. And then I'm also going to need a transparency die cut from the tag shape to go back behind those windows to hold in all of my shaker material. So I'm going to take my window cut up now and the white tag and I'm just going to draw some circles or trace those circles onto my white tag. This is going to give me a guide for stamping so that I make sure and get all of those little critters from the Mama Elephant No Peeking stamp set stamped where you can see their little faces through the openings in the window. Next I'm going to color in all of my cute little critters with some Copic markers. I also stamped the peppermint shape from the No Peeking stamp set in the alternating uh, circle windows there using a red ink. That way I have three little critters and then three cute little peppermint shapes so this makes for a perfect holiday themed shaker tag which would be really fun tied onto a gift. So once I have all of the coloring here done, I, I've erased some of the lines as well. I don't want the, the lines to show once the shaker is put together and you have that foam tape in place, I didn't want any of those pencil marks to maybe be visible. So I like to make sure I erase all of those. I like to take a black gel pen and then add detail to the eyes and the nose and also the reindeer for this uh, particular image. And then I use some a white gel pen to add some little dots to his cheeks just for fun. The Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Marker is one of my favorites and I went ahead and applied that to all the red areas on my peppermints. I think that adds a fun touch and some nice glitter, especially for a holiday themed tag here. Now I did take the BG10 and trace my colored in image to give it a nice cool shadow and I did take the colorless blender then to blend it or not blend it per se but kind of uh, smooth any harsh edges from my my shadowing that I did there. It's very subtle especially when dry but I think it adds a nice touch to the finished colored images not such a stark white background. I'm going to color in my polar bear. I'm using some grays here and layered those to give the illusion of a white polar bear, but yet it, you don't want to leave them stark white because it it just does it blends into the background too much. So I always like to use some grays to give that illusion of white. Again, I used that BG10 to create that pretty kind of aqua greenish shadow around my finished colored image. A color in my last image. Get I kind of, the color I started out with for him I didn't exactly love so I went over it with a little bit darker and then added some more darker blending and shadowing. I love that about Copics. If you didn't quite get the color you wanted the first time, if you're going a bit darker you can always go over it and change the color. 
color in the rest of his little eyes there. Now I have left all of their scarves to last. I'm going to color them all the same. I kind of kept the color palette for this more neutrals and white and red. So I'm going to do all their scarves in some red, with some red Copic markers. Again, I'll color in that quick shadow, kind of smooth out those edges with the colorless blender. Get rid of any of the rest of those pencil marks. Like I said, I always am fearful that they might show once I have the shaker all together, so I like to get rid of those. Adding a little detail with my pins there again. I always love finishing off any images with my white and black pins. And there you get a glimpse of what it'll look like once that window is in place. Here are those red markers that I'm going to use for the scarves. And again, like I said, I'm doing them all the same. So I started with my lightest color. I did then go with my darkest color. And then I did my mid-tone. It's a pretty small area. There's not going to be a lot of blending for this particular part of the image. So that's about all it needed. And then I took my white pen and added some detail back and forth to give it a little bit of a plaid look just for a little touch of fun. I wasn't too particular or anything with it. I just did it really quick. On the back of my tag, before I put it all together, I want to make sure I stamp my little to and from. That is also from the Mama Elephant No Peeking stamp set. And that way, because I don't have any gifts ready to go right now, since it's still pretty much summertime here, I can uh, fill that in closer to ho the holiday season. This is a banner I die cut from some white cardstock from the Sweet Havana Mama Elephant stamp set. And I'm not using any of the coordinating stamps that go with this particular banner for this card, but rather just using the shape. And then I stamped the no peeking, and you can tell I bent or uh, kind of gently rounded the greeting so that it would match the shape of the banner. And then I stamped it with black ink. And I'm going to tuck that into one of the windows over one of the peppermint pieces there. So just kind of a fun, different way to do that. I wanted to add my greeting in in a kind of different way. Next, I'm taking foam adhesive and I need to make several window areas with my foam adhesive to add sequins. I don't want the sequins to be over my critters for this tag. Instead, I want all of the sequins to be over any of the peppermint areas. So I am trimming my foam adhesive into little teeny tiny strips to fit around all of these round windows. And it really didn't take all that long. This foam adhesive from, uh, from Scotch works great. It's easy to cut into thin strips. And I actually doubled it up because I wanted to make sure that it was deep enough that the sequins had some room to shake around. So once I have all of that doubled up, I can place my sequins in the corresponding windows and then remove any of that backing paper and I'm going to pop the white tag that I have colored the cute little critters on right on top of that tag shape. So I'll line that up, press that on and turn it over and shake up my cute little shaker tag. Now I'm going to take my craft tag where I type the to and from and place that over the white tag. That covers up any of those coloring marks where the Copic markers have uh, bled through the back of the paper, which they should do if you've done a good job blending your colored images. Finally, I tied on a little ribbon and some twine to the top of my tag. I just punched a quick hole and used the whole reinforcement stamp also from the No Peeking stamp set and the bold banner, or not bold banner, but the uh, tag from Mama Elephant, and then I'm gluing some sequins in place with some matte medium ink. And my shaker tag is finished. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing the Pretty Pink Posh Stitch Duo dies. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.